Hey guys, the objective of this video is to define what to define what compaction is, to look at what the optimum moisture content is, um, and what the maximum dry unit weight is. I'm going to introduce you to two new equations, and then we're going to do an example. <clears throat> so, what is compaction? If we have a sample of soil, right? We know in our sample of soil we have solid soil particles, we have water. And we have pockets of air. Okay, so when we come and put a structure in this, if we don't compact it first, what's going to happen is that the structure is going to come and sit on this, and the air and the water are going to be squeezed out. Okay, and the building is going to settle. And it's not a good thing because, say, for example, this side settles more than this side, we're going to get differential settlement, and the building is going to tilt like the t Leaning Tower of Pisa. Okay, so you often see um, steamrollers on building sites coming to compact the soil before they put any buildings on it, okay, or any structure. So what is compaction dependent on? Compaction is dependent on three things. The first thing it's dependent on is the water content, so how much water we have in our soil sample. The second thing is dependent on is the type of soil. And the third thing is dependent on is the amount of energy we put into the system. Okay, if we put more energy, we're going to get a better um, bulk unit weight of soil. So what we're going to do now is see the relationship between the moisture content and the bulk unit, the uh, unit weight. So if we were to plot, so this is moisture content against gamma dry. It's very important to gamma dry. What's going to happen is, is that we're going to get a curve which looks something like this. Okay, so what it's saying is that at some particular point, we're going to get an optimum moisture content, which will give us an, a uh, maximum dry unit weight, which is what we want. We want the soil to be